Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator. My name is Jeff Aviano. We're going to check out this game today. I've played uh, fishing games on the channel. I played, uh, what was it, Fishing Planet uh, a long time ago. and never really held my interest too much. I think it was just too linear for me. It was like you were just kind of stuck in certain places uh, that you were able to fish. And this game's a little more uh, free world, like kind of more of roaming. You can move around the bank and stuff like that. So it uh, caught my attention and actually... Uh, it, the Steam code was sent to me in my email. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. Uh, it was just sent to me to say, hey, check out the game. So I did. I actually enjoyed it enough. I was like, you know what? Maybe other people will like it too. So I'm going to show it to you today. So here we are greeted at the main screen here. You can see I'm a level one. I have $161. Uh, and that is pretty much that. You have the fisheries. These are the options here. Um, Betty Lake is the one that you get uh, that you don't have to have a license to fish at. And the species here are rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout, bull trout, and cutthroat trout. So it's all trout. Uh, if we go to uh, Powell Lake, you see here's where the fun begins. I I, I can't wait to play, uh, you know, against some bass here. And uh, you have a license you need to buy for $300. And you have to be a level three to get here. So you have these different uh, reels you can get. You can 3D view these two. Beautifully well done. You know, I mean, the game is actually not too bad looking at all. Uh, you can change out your lines. Uh, your floats, you know, bobbers and whatnot. Uh, the current bobber I have is this thing, and it's kind of hard to see, honestly. Uh, but that's $57 for a bobber. It's $63. Uh, you have different hooks you can choose. For bait. Uh, we have a fly we're starting off with. You can get a maggot. You can get a get some bread, a little cube of bread, pea, corn, so on and so forth. Worm, you know, leech, uh, natural egg, grasshopper. So at least like real bait, like live bait. And then you can do spoons, spinners, wobblers, uh, soft baits, and then you can get a net or some float weights. Pretty neat stuff. So I have basically nothing to start off with here. My skills, here I am here. You can see uh, skill points are at zero. So there's a ranking system in the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, Encyclopedia, if you want to learn about these different fish that are in the game. So we've got the amberjack. I mean, these are just, there's tons of fish in here. Look at these. Black marlin, blue marlin. Some big fish in here. There's the uh, classic striped marlin there. Uh, you got a sturgeon and a white marlin. There's our there's our buddy right there, the largemouth bass. So quite a few uh, fish species in this game, and they're actually modeled. Uh, you can even open up a 3D view here and have a look at them. Get yourself acquainted with the different fish species. Pretty neat. You do have leaderboards. Um, it's loading them in right now. Uh, and look at that biggest fish a greater amber jacket 69.71 kilograms that's pretty crazy look at the experience and the level uh and we're way at the bottom so we're not gonna be on any leaderboards you can go into this so later on when, when you get the biggest you catch a huge fish you know like one that you've caught the most like i've been doing a little bit of fishing this is the largest bull trout i have and the largest cutthroat trout i have but you'll actually have this um decorated which is pretty cool. It's a neat little addition they added. A little music there and all that. That's pretty cool. Hit escape and we can go back. It loads pretty quickly to go in and out of that. That's not too bad. Uh, options menu. We have video settings of resolution. I'm running 1080p. Quality very high. Uh, water quality very high. If you have any issues with that, you know, you can adjust those. Full screen V-Sync. Turn blur off. I hate motion blur. Um, AO is on. Water reflections full. Water deformations are turned on. I turned off the underwater blur. It was just a little too much. Um, and then you can adjust brightness, contrast, gamma, change your sound settings, and so on and so forth. Pretty cool. Uh, Imperial units. So we're not using the uh, the uh, other, the metric system. All right, cool. That looks pretty good. Let's go actual fishing here. Let's go to Betty Lake. We're going to choose that. Now check this. You have local and then you have multiplayer. So this game is multiplayer. I haven't tried that out, but it sounds kind of cool to play fishing simulator in uh in multiplayer with your friends but i'll show you what i'm talking about with the uh the open world aspect of this game uh you can drive boats in this game that is a huge 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 thing honestly so it's pretty you got grass and the sun rays and stuff but look at this we can freely move about wherever we want on the bank we can even run by holding the shift key it's your classic wasd movements and uh, you use your mouse to actually cast. So we're going to go out here. This little peninsula thing right here. And I'm going to, you can hit O to open up your uh, information here. 
and it shows you know here's how you cast or you do a cast near or you can do a flashlight you can even hit z to zoom it's not a very strong zoom but it's enough to where you can see the bobber um okay we're gonna hold it down and you'll see that goes up release it nice cast so one thing that's really cool about this game is you're not stuck to this view you know with fishing planet you're kind of just stuck with this you're on the bank i mean it's realistic you can zoom out there you can't even see the bobber here um but you can hit the c key and look at this we have an underwater camera now it's kind of um it's kind of limited as far as like how much you can see oh somebody's already interested in us look at this bam just wait a minute wait a minute right click set the hook there we go and bam we got a fish on check that out all right we're gonna start reeling them in uh you can change the reel speed uh, with the R and F key, so we can bring up the real speed a little bit more if we wanted to, or down. We let's actually bring it down so we can just slowly roll this guy in. He's way out there though, 130 feet out. Um, you can change your drag with the middle mouse button. We're on a drag of five right there, which kind of helps us. But watch the tension when you're doing it. You don't want to break it. It gives you a little mini game with the tension. It's pretty cool. I keep zooming this or zooming it in, reeling it in. All right, we want, what we want to do is we want to fatigue the fish and, and tire him out, which it's starting to happen. He is starting to uh, be reeled in because he's 120 feet now. Yeah, we're, we're bringing this bad boy in, no problem. You can hit C to see the underwater camera if you would like. You still have the tension and stuff. So if you, you know, prefer an underwater camera, it's, it's pretty neat that they give you that option. Uh, reminds me of like the older uh, fishing games that you would play. Um, but another nice thing about that is that the fish are actually modeled and they're in the lake Like with fishing planet. It, it didn't seem like they were there. It was just they would just you know Insta the pop up a cutthroat trout 1.17 pounds Let's see we can sell them or we can release them. So to gain experience points you release To make money you sell them right now. We're in the business of making money so we can get a uh, A license so we can go to Powell Lake. I, that's that's what I want to go that is where I want to go. Let's try over this way, right over down this line. Ooh, that was a good one. And it's in the water. And you can change that view so we can be right here near the bank. And we'll re reel this in. You can see our crappy little fly on the end of our line. Nothing too, uh, too great there. We'll hit O, hide that stuff. Don't need any of that. The game is still uh, pretty much early access or beta or whatever you want to call it. So if there's any uh, bugs that you do you do come across in the game, um, you can hit F5 and you can report the bug right through the game, which is pretty nice. Um, it was a, I believe this was a kickstarted project and it became some, oh yes, oh he looks big. He looks big. Come on up. Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it and get him. Yeah. He's pretty close. He's only 50 feet out. We can get this guy. Oh no, no, no. You don't, you're not running with it. You're not running with it, you son of a bitch. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. I don't think so. I don't bring my drag down. There we go. Let's bring our real speed down, too. It's a little too much. Oh, he is just running with it. I don't think so, dude. Man. He just darted straight out in the middle of the damn pond. Come on. Yeah, you're going to get tired eventually, buddy. Pull them out this way. And remember, you always have the tension at the very bottom. You can always keep an eye on your tension that way, but you can, you know, try different methods to get the fish. I like the modeling of the uh, of the actual rod. It's pretty cool how it moves around. All right. He's starting to uh, he's starting to get tired. No, he's running again. Let me put some drag on this bad boy. Come here. Come to Papa. There we go some drag on it he's gonna be getting tired quick how's he looking out there he doesn't seem to be tired at all look at him nah he's starting to waver a little bit he's like eh. so the the modeling of the fish and the animations of the fish aren't the greatest let's be honest about that um but at least they're there at least you have this option to have an underwater camera you know that's something that's been missing in games for a long time fishing games all right, we're getting this guy now. Let's bring our real speed up a little bit here. Let's bring it on in. Yeah, he's dead. He's tired. He's pooped. Come on. We got you, bud. 1.76 pounds. Sell him up. Sell him, sell him. That's all you do. 
So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. We're just trying to make some money so we can get uh, the $300 needed for our our new license. Ooh, I'm going to hang out right here. Ooh, you look like you're interested in it. Come on. You know you want this thing. Come on, buddy. I'm going to move it around a little bit. Oh, that's a big one out there on the right. Oh, come on. You know you want this thing. You bastards. It's quite quiet. Like, they, they don't have the music playing during this. But you could always put something on in the background, like Spotify or something, and and listen to some music while you fish. Oh, we have somebody in, interested in it, but it's another one of these damn bull trouts or whatever the hell they are. Or cutthroats. There you go. He's got it. One. Wait for it. And set it. If you set it too early, you'll get a premature set, and it will screw you. Trust me. Okay, we have drag on this time. We're not going to let him get away. Oh, no. Is it around the damn rock? Okay, no, it's not. It looked like it was there for a second. Fuck. I broke it with the uh, tension of the line like an idiot. I was staring at the rock, and I didn't even see how much tension I... You know why I had the damn drag on? Five. Yep. Set that back to zero. That was my fault. That was my fault. That's that's to be expected. I wish you could move the um, camera around. Like down here, you know, if you could just like hold a button and, and rotate the camera, that would be really, really cool. I would love to see that. Oh, come on. I see you down there hanging out. It's so frustrating to see these fishing go. Um, Come on. You know, you want to come and get the fly. So do it, bro. Oh, yes. What are you? And get him. Uh, yeah. Another trout. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. We're going to keep this on. Oh, we're going to keep the underwater cam on this one. He's 89 feet. Look at him running with it. Oh, you little shit. Oh, what? He's going through the rocks. All right. He figured it out right away to be like, oh, okay. I can't go through rocks. I can't cheat that much. Well, we're keeping it. Yeah, he's done. He's small. There's no way he's, he's a big fish. I mean, look at this. We're just reeling him in immediately. Yeah, 1.2. What? It was actually bigger than the last one I had. What does that even mean? Now, I believe you can hit escape and you can look at your profile and you can see how much money you have. Yep, we have a uh, $200. So we're getting there ever so slightly. We could get better bait, but I'm really just trying to, uh, you know, trying to get some. Actually, you know what? I can throw it right next to this. I saw that big fish out here. What was he? I'm just going to reel it in a few times here. There he is over there on the right. But I, I don't think he's, a, he's that massive one that we saw out there. But like I was saying, you could, you could get a, a different bait, you know, and then spend the money on that. But it's like you don't make that much money off the fish to begin with that it's almost uh, a little too much, you know. So it, when we start out, we want to just barely do it. Go to the outside view here so we can watch it. A strike from up here. So you can hit the Z key, you know, and zoom in. You can see the bobber right there. It's right below. And we'll see if we get any hits on this thing. Is that a fish moving up to it? It looks like it. Oh, no. It was one of these little fluff ball things. Let's go underwater. Can oh, he's coming. Yep, he's coming right at it. Oh, he's biting on it. He's biting on it. He's biting on it. And set him. Got him. Come over this way, buddy. Don't let him run away. Don't let him run away, you bastard. He's a bigger fish. I say that and then watch. He'll be he'll be smaller than the last one that we just insta reeled in. There we go. There ooh, you little shit. He's really trying to get my tension up. I'll bring my real speed down. That might help us out with our tension here. That problem. There we go. Come to Papa. Got him. Yeah, he's 1.17. So he's just like that other one. So little by little, we're getting more and more and more. So I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. We're going to try to get ourselves a license here. Come in, you bastard. I think this is a much bigger or a different kind of fish here on this one. You can see him here in a second. I'll show you. He, yeah, he's a different type of trout. Look at that guy. Oh, man. He went all the way down to the ground. He is really trying to run it like straight into the ground there. Come here, buddy. He looks slightly small. Come here. I've had some pretty decent luck over here. I caught a couple. 
since uh, we last uh, left off. Come on. You bring it. Bring him in. What, what is he? A bull trout. That's what he is. 4.41 pounds. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. $40 plus 32 EXP. That's a big sum, bitch. All right. Well, I'm going to go on the other side of the lake and see if we can catch some more. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big one. Look at this guy. You know you want this. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's huge. He's freaking huge. Let him bite on it. Let him bite on it. And set it. Oh my lord. Oh, insta tension. Look at this son of a bitch. He looks like a rainbow trout, actually. Come on, bring him on in. Bring him on in. Bring him on in. Better luck. Oh, man, bigger fish over here on this side of the lake. You bring him in. He's still 100 feet out. Eh, he's increasing his distance on us, too. Oh, look at him really taking it right there. He is running like crazy. Look at this bastard. He's a big one, though. Keep on reeling him. Oh, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. You can see us bringing him like straight in like that. That's when you know he's getting tired. Oh, don't break that line, you bastard. I want this fish. I want this fish. Fighting this son of a bitch all day. Come here. 100 feet out. We're getting him pulled this way. And you can move around uh, while you are reeling a fish, which is pretty cool. Come over here. Come on, buddy. Boy, he is tough. He's going to be a fight. He's not going to... He's not giving up without a fight. That's for sure here. There we go. We're making some gains on him now. Look at that. 118, 115. Keep working him this way. Watching our tension here. Put on some drag here on this guy, too. I really want to tire this fish out. Nope. You're going to break the fucking line. Come on in here. Oh, yeah. You can see how much bigger it is just right there. Look at that. That's a big fish. 3.34 rainbow trout. I was right. How about that? 30 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. So what are we looking at right now? 297. Oh, we can. Next fish is going to do it, everybody. Next fish is going to do it. I'm going to run down here because I'm too excited. Oh, we got a bite. We got a bite. We got a bite. One. Set him. There we go. Come on this way, buddy. Come on this way. This is the final fish. So we can move on to the next lake and we can drive a boat, hopefully. Okay. Damn, those frogs are just going nuts right now. They know. They're like, this is the final fish. He's going to be leaving us. Oh, my God. He's running on the other side of the damn lake with this one. Come here, buddy. Ooh, you son of a bitch. 150, 60 feet out. What is this? Bring that real speed in a little higher here. You're going to get tired eventually, you son of a bitch. I'm going to run down the side of the bank here with him. I have a feeling this is a big fish. I mean, it's pretty strong to go that far out like that on us. We're not making any gains. We might have to start something. We have to get, We have to try something else here. This is a big fish, man. We just got to wait for him to get tired. That's really all we can do at this time. I could try doing some drag, but I really want to make sure we're low here when, he does, when we do it. There's the drag right there. And hold it about right there. There we go. We let him a little bit more. Just hold that tension on him so he gets tired. And then we'll reduce the drag and we're going to reel him in. This is one hell of a fight and I'm not going to give up. I'm not giving up. Oh my God. Look at it moving around out there. What is that? I think he almost jumped. Damn, 300 feet. We're not making any gains on this guy. Like, at all. Come on, you bastard. I think he's getting tired. I'm using the drag on him now, and he's just slowly, slowly moving back towards us now. I think he's getting tired. Look at that tension on him there. Come here, you. This way. Yep. He's definitely tiring out, finally. Jeez, this fish would not give up, man. Look at this. He just will not. Oh, he's running with it again. Nope. We're losing it with without the drag. Just keep it right here. Yep, slowly reel him in. Bring up a real speed a little bit here. Slowly making those gains. But man, this has been one hell of a fight with this fish. Yes. You are mine. Come on. Yes, he is dead tired. Come here, you son of a bitch. You better be like 30 pounds. I know he won't be, but... 
You better be a massive fish, man, for the fight that we had on this one. There he is right there. I mean, you can see him from here. Look how big he is. Whoa. There we go. Come here, you bastard. What? Well, 3.33 pounds. He's pretty big, but that was ridiculous. That fight was outrageous. How much we got now? $327. We're good. We can go back to the main menu. We're done with that fishing excursion. Let's move on to Powell. Oh, we have to be at level three. Damn it. We're so close. So close. What we got? What do we got here? We got a bull trout. 4.54 pounder. Damn, son. Released for 7 XP or $41. Well, we're doing XP, baby. Where we at? Level three, baby. We did it. Awesome. Let's go to the next lake so we can check that out. Pretty excited about this. Buy a fishing license for $300. We're at level three. We're going to Powell Lake. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be able to get on a boat. Now, I also wanted to mention, uh, you don't have to use a keyboard. You can use the Xbox uh, controllers or something, any kind of gamepad that you have laying around. Uh, it does support that. I haven't tried that yet, though. The new lake, Dangling Rope Ranger Station. Look at this. We just came out of the snack bar. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. There's a marina here. And this looks good. Although it looks like a small lake for all these boats. I have noticed since these uh, lakes are 3D, um, they aren't very large. But we'll see. Here's a boat right over here. I'm pretty sure we can get on this thing and take it out for a spin. And that's what it's all about. Come out here and have a look-see. Yep, we can drive it. Hit E to enter it. You don't have the required skill. What? Lower price. Oh, we have to unlock it. Use boats. Unlock. Got it. Got it. Well, now we know how that works. Uh, yes, sir. Woo! The boat can be controlled using the WSAD keys. To start fishing, press R. If you want to return to marina, press E. All right. And we have a fish finder. Oh, yes, boats. Get out here and run with it. A lot of fish over here on the left of us. But having a boat, that's so cool. Look at that turn. Well, the boat physics aren't terrible. They're not the best, but they're not bad. Let's go ahead and hit R to fish. Look at this. We can walk in where we want to on the boat. And let's cast it right on out here. Pick something up out over here. We need to get some new bait, too, because this, this old fly isn't going to do the trick. Oh, man, that's some deep water. That is some deep water. Let's see if there's anything over here, though. Well, I don't see anything over here, so we're going to mosey on back. Get back into the boat. Reel it in. There we go. Let's go drive the boat again. Hit e. Oh, E goes back to the marina. I forget how we get back in the boat after we're on it. Man, there's a lot of fish around here, though. Another boat over there. I wonder if we could just be on any of the boats. There's a whole hill over there. Oh, a bunch of fish right here. We have a fish right off our nose here. Let's look out here. Just kind of toss it right here. See what's down in this area. Because the fish finder picked him up. I don't know what he is, but it did pick him up. I think we need a new bait. This thing sucks. There's no fish around here that wants this damn fly. You kidding me? Yeah, I don't see that fish anywhere. We'll wait and see, though. Oh, here he is. What is that? Looks like a crappie. Uh, fish escape, premature strike. That's good. That's what I was talking about, those premature strikes. Oh, there he is right there. He's right off our nose. It's a little perch. Come here, buddy. You know you want this thing. Those look very small. Those fish do. Oh, there you go. Is he interested in it? Go to the left. Yes. Go towards it, buddy. Go towards it. There you go. Just like that. Oh, come on. It's right there. He's like, Are you kidding me? I, I know what that is. I, I already been there and done that. Let's go to Bates. We need something a little bit different. Uh, not you, not you, not you. Let's do the old fashioned worm. We'll buy that guy. He's only 10 bucks. What else do we have? We have a cut bait rig, some eh, natural egg, this stuff. Maybe a grasshopper or something for bass. Nine bucks for him. 
Oh, $23 for him. Level 9 is needed. Okay, well, then we don't get to do that. Uh, line. This is a very, very crappy line. We need some new line, but damn, son, $133? Yep, we're going to start saving money up for that. Same thing with reels. They're pretty expensive, too, and so are the rods. So, slowly but surely, we'll be moving our way up the rank. Let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and change out our bait. Equip. Oh, that's cool. You can sell your baits. How much money do we get for the fly to sell? $3. Pfft. We'll go ahead and resume. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you real quick is you can go to the fish encyclopedia and you can learn about what the fish like. It tells you here. The bluegills name is you know, blah, 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 blah. But it tells you like what time, what they like to feed on. Um, it also tells you like when they're active. There's a trout. Like these trout that we were dealing with before, bull trout. Um, care about the small spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brace on invertebrates and smaller fish. Yeah, that's interesting. Betty Lake. Yeah, we've caught three of those. Fish level's only very, very low on that one. Oh, that's what I want. A channel cat. Uh, worms, insects, frogs, and leeches. Well, that's good. But they're usually on the bottom, so we're going to have to do something with that. Look at that Dorado. I can't wait to do, do some fishing for that. But largemouth bass, insects, fish, Frogs, crayfish, shrimps, and many, many more. We got our worm here. Just drop it right off there. Oh, there's a fish right there, too. Does that sucker just drop? Oh, yeah, it does. Well, not too crazy. But it does drop pretty deep there. Yeah. But the, you have to really cast that sucker out there. And then it probably just drops like a rock. Yeah, you can see the depth right there. Okay, it, just, it hangs out about 8.5 feet, which isn't terrible. At least it's a lot lower than the uh, the other one was. So that's a good thing. Our bobber's still in the air, though, or still in there, though. So it's a matter of just waiting around and just fishing like you normally would fish. But I think we're going to call it here, guys, for the first uh, look at this game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Uh, it is available on Steam. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'll look and see if there is a Steam link, but I've been having so many issues with videos getting demonetized and whatnot whenever I have a link in there that it's bad. Oh, there's a fish right there, too. Here you go, buddy. I just want to catch one fish. He's right here. He's right there. Reeling it this way. Come on, it's right here, bud. No. All right. He's kind of just puttering around it. Oh, well, no big deal. Let's go ahead and hit R. Or let's reel this thing in. Ooh. Ooh, he's going towards it. He is going towards it. Yes, little guy. Go for it. There we go. Yep, chew on it. Chew on it. Chew on it. And set him. Got him. Right here, too. Oh, hello. Come here, little buddy. He's a small little guy, but hey, it's a different type of fish than a trout, right? So we might as well end this video off right. Uh, this way. Don't you start this. I'm going to put some tension on your sorry ass. You aren't getting far at all. You're tiny. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, he's right there. He's right. Don't you break it. Don't you break that line. Where are you going? Under the boat? What? He's under the boat. At least that tension there. Air. I think that was our problem, was the tension. He's right here. Just br oh, I probably need a net to get him off the a boat, don't I? Come here, you. The bow. Maybe the bow let us. Maybe not. I bet I have to have a net to catch it, to get the, the, the fish off of it. I bet you. I bet you that's what it is. Come here, you. We don't have a net. He's really close. I'm just following him. Alright, dude. You want to do that? You want to play these games? Come back here to the back of the boat. Come to the back of the boat. Oh, that line went th right through the side of that. That was pretty interesting. Here we go. Out here is where we can get him off the back of the boat. So, I guess to be able to pull him in, you have to have the net on the front of the boat. But down here on the back side, we should be able to get him. Come here, little shit. 
You're a feisty little bastard, aren't you, for what you did? What? I'm all the way on the edge here. Maybe we have to have a, a net. I mean, he's so close. I'm like about to jump in and catch the damn thing with my bare hands. Okay, we're gonna break the line on that one. Yep, I think we have to have, um, I think we have to have that. Pretty positive. Uh, it was under other. Yeah, this thing. They don't tell you anything about it. It's $200, but I guarantee you that's what it is. So, good to know. That is going to do it for us. Let me know, like I said, in the comments what you thought of the game. If you want to see more of it, let me know as well. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.